Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to Ahkam SOS, the Ramadan special. I hope your fasting is going very, very well, inshallah. You're receiving the tawfiq and the taqwa, inshallah. Let me introduce my guest who's with me throughout the whole of Ramadan, Sheikh Ali Ma'ash. Assalamu alaikum, Sheikhna. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi How are you doing today? Alhamdulillah, bakhir. Mashallah, mashallah. Sheikhna, last time we were discussing about niyyah and the intentions that you know people make before um, fasting, and you were telling us that it is wajib. But I had some questions in regards to what if someone sleeps before um, the time of Dhuhr with the intention, does his fast continue? What if someone sleeps and after Dhuhr, uh, can he still make the intention to fast? So the fast was not made at Fajr time and the person slept throughout the Fajr and then if he wakes up before Dhuhr, can he keep the near then? Or if he wakes up after the Dhuhr, can he actually keep the niyyah? A'udhu billah as-sami'i al-alim min ash-shaytan al-rajim Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim Wa sallallahu ala muhammadin wa alihi al-tayibin al-tahirin Allahumma salli ala Allahumma salli ala muhammad wa ala muhammad With regard to this issue If the one sleeps before the morning prayer Adhan uh, Without making the intention of the fasting on that day And he wakes up before Adhan of Dhuhr. His fasting is valid, but he must make sure that he makes the intention before Adhan of Dhuhr. He makes the intention of fasting and continues uh, the, the fasting for the rest of the day. So if it's before Adhan of Dhuhr, that's fine. He makes the intention and he, he keeps his fasting and no qaba required. But if he wakes up in the afternoon after Adhan al uh, in this case, uh, his fast would not be valid. In other words, um, he, he must do the qaba. Okay. So this fast, you, because you cannot make the uh, intention after Adhan al it should be before Adhan al uh, If As long as you make the niyyah before the Adhan of Dhuhr, it is valid, the fast is still valid. Lakin, بعد أذان الظهر, then it's not accepted, there has to be a qala. Should, is that person actually allowed to eat anything or not? Or should he actually remain from eating as well and pay the qala? No, he should remain uh, not eating anything or drinking and he must do the qala as well. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, okay, let's say I was sleeping. I didn't wake up for Adhan Suh. Therefore, I haven't had any suhoor. Now, I've woken up before uh, the Adhan of Zuhar. I've woken up at 10, 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock. Uh, uh, can I eat something? Can I eat some uh, something as like some suhoor or something and then keep my fast before Zuhar? Or is that not allowed? No, because it's the month of Ramadan and you wake up, um, you, ha you have to make sure you do the intention. Okay. Because it's wajib to fast that day. It's part of the month of Ramadan. Mm -hmm. So even if you missed uh, the intention in the suhoor time, for example, you didn't wake up, um, you have to um, redo the niyyah just before the end of dhuhr and do the niyyah for the rest of the day. Um, otherwise, um, it is month of Ramadan, you must fast that day um, unless you're in trouble uh, as a musafir okay. or you have an illness. So you're not allowed to eat? Of course. No, no uh, eating allowed. You wake up, oh, I've just realized I haven't, uh, I didn't get up for uh, Fajr Adhan, I didn't keep my suhoor You're not allowed to eat But you can keep the niyyah And the fast is valid It's no problem Of course, it. before Adhan al uh, The fast is valid After okay. Adhan al dhuhr if you wake up Then it's too late um, um, The fast is not valid And you have to refrain from eating and drinking okay. Till the Adhan al-Maghrib Ascent, Shaykhna, Ascent Shaykhna, what about if I um, slept later than uh, the Adhan for Dhuhr, I, let's say I slept the whole day until Maghrib. So from, from the previous night, I fell asleep and I didn't wake up until Maghrib time the next day. 
well, as far as you have the intention before Adhan Fajr. Okay. Um, let's say you did the intention, you had your suhoor, but you slept for some reason. You slept the whole day. It was a winter time of fasting. Mm -hmm. It was only eight, nine hours of daytime. And you were at work during the night, for example, or doing ibadah and so forth. Mm -hmm. And you slept all day. You missed your salat subuh. You missed your dhuhr and asr uh, salah as well. No. And you woke up after Adhan Maghrib. As long as you have the niya from the beginning uh, of in, in the suhoor time, for example, or the night mm -hmm. before that day, then um, the fast is valid. Mm -hmm. It's sahih. So okay. you don't have to redo, redo the day and qada. Okay, okay. And uh, if the niya wasn't there? As I've said, uh, if there was no niya, then uh, and you wake up um, after time. after adhan al dhuhr, yeah. then the fast is not valid. Even and if even if I woke up at adhan al maghrib time. Well, that's after adhan al dhuhr. Okay. Then you have to do okay. the qada, qada as well for this one. Oh. The fast is not valid, um, and you have to do the qada because the, the only chance you have to make uh, and the time to make the uh, the niya the max is by adhan al dhuhr. Okay. Afterwards, it's too late. So oh. you woke up late without the niya. Okay. The issue here is that you have the niya and you slept all day. That's valid. But okay. if you um, do the niya, uh, you don't do the niya, for example. Okay. Without niya in the suhoor, you sleep mm -hmm. and you wake up after the maghrib. There's no niya. The whole day is just gone. Yes. Without the intention of fasting, then you have to do the qada for, okay. for this particular day. Okay. Shaykhna, Sometimes we have issues, well it's not really a big issue, but let's just say people start Ramadan on different days. So let's say my Maraja, my Maraja, my Marja has said that tomorrow is not the first of Ramadan. But another Marja has said it is the first of Ramadan. What Niya can I use then? Well, again, everyone should follow his own marja. Who do you follow? You follow his, uh, you follow the marja that you believe in, and you follow. So, if he says tomorrow is the day of Ramadan, then خلاص, you just follow him. Um, because the whole idea of um, fasting, to start the fast or, or to stop fasting for the Eid, it be, uh, depends on the sighting of the moon. So, if you, if two people who you trust and they know the the attributes and the signs of the present if they see it and they come to you and they give the shahada um, the evidence that they saw it خلاص, you just uh, you begin fasting or you stop fasting for the Eid and um, otherwise you don't have that access to those trustees that you can take um, with regard to the fasting hukum then you go back to your alim and marja. If he says tomorrow is the Ramadan, month of Ramadan, that's it. You start fasting. Otherwise, you just uh, do it as the last day of Sha'ban. Okay. So what about ihtiyat? Could you do an ihtiyat fast? Is that acceptable? You, you, you can't do ihtiyat because is it it's either tomorrow, the month of Ramadan or not? Oh. We have ahkam of the day of doubts, oh. Yawm al which is the last day of Sha'ban. Yes. That has its own... Um, oh, it's a separate niyyah. ...masala and, and rule, of course. Okay, yeah. it's a separate yeah. niyyah. Exactly. Oh. Inshallah, we'll come to this hukum, inshallah, inshallah, later on, inshallah. Shaykhna, what happens if, you know, someone goes unconscious? So, for example, you've got an individual who kept the niyyah at the time of uh, suhoor time. He's done his niyyah uh, and he faints at the time of fajr. At Adhan al Fajr, the, the Fajr time, he, he's fainted, he's unconscious, and he gains consciousness around Dhuhr time. Is his niya still valid? Is his fast still valid? Well, in this case, he must, uh, according to the Sayyid, um, obligatory precaution, he must uh, complete his fast for that day. Okay. And then do the Qadha afterwards. Oh. So his fast is valid for the precaution uh, that the said mentions and then completes the fast uh, till the Maghrib and then he does the Qadha. Shaykhna, what happens when it is Ramadan and I make a different niyyah 
for the fast. I decide to do a qada fast, or maybe oh, I I or fast in nidr or I did a qasim, and I'm going to use that niyyah for the fast. Um, or even a mustahab fast, I'm not going to do the Ramadan fast. Deliberately changing your intention of the fast. Uh, what happens in that situation? Is my fast valid for the for what I intended it to be, or is it accounted for, accepted as a Ramadan fast, and I have to do that one again, the one I intended I have to do that again? For the month of Ramadan, there's no way for the individual to make the intention to fast anything else except the month of Ramadan. This month is the only month that you have no choice, no option um, to uh, fast something else. Qada, Nadir, Qasam, Mustahab even. Only with the intention of the month of Ramadan. The wajib fasting, nothing else. In, in your case, if somebody uh, makes the intention of not fasting the month of Ramadan, but Qadha, for example, or Mustahab. Neither the month of Ramadan will be accepted because he didn't make the intention of Ramadan fasting, nor the fasting for the Qadha or Nadr or, or Mustahab. None of them will be accepted. Okay. So in this case, he must do the Qadha because the um, fast of Ramadan was not accepted from this person. Oh. So he must do the Qadha afterwards. Wow, so because even he, bega he began the fasting with no intention for the month of Ramadan. Oh. So it wouldn't be counted as a Ramadan fast because he didn't have the intention exactly. and it was wajib upon him. Exactly. And whatever he intended it to be, it's not going to be even accepted for that. So if it was a qasim or if it was mustahab, it wouldn't even be accepted for that. Because it's the month of Ramadan. How could, oh. how could um, qasim or nadr or qada be accepted when it's only for the month of Ramadan? This is the season of month of Ramadan, nothing else. Mm -hmm. No other fast is allowed. Okay, okay. Shaykhna, in regards to niyyah, let's say uh, not in Ramadan, but outside of Ramadan, if I've woken up, um, I've had a very, very busy day, I haven't eaten anything after Fajr, uh, after Fajr Salah, I haven't eaten anything. I go to work, I haven't had breakfast, I go to work, it's very busy, I didn't get time to have my lunch. Uh, I'm coming home now, 5, 6 o'clock, it's almost time for Maghrib. Can I keep a niyyah uh, to f for, that, for, for that fast? Because I haven't eaten anything from the Fajr Adhan, Dhuhr as the Adhan has come and gone, and I haven't eaten anything, I'm about 5-10 minutes from Maghrib, can I say, oh, do you know what, I'm going to take advantage of this situation, and I'm going to do a niyyah for a fast, and I'm going to, inshallah, eat my dinner in about 15-20 minutes and I'll open my fast then. Is this fast valid? Is this fast accepted? With regard to the mustahab fast, the desirable fast, yes. The timing is for the niyyah, for the one who did not do the niyyah uh, just the night before the, that day. Um, and he wakes up in the daytime or even afternoon. The time of the niyyah for the mustahab is from the Adhan al-Fajr just a minute or two minutes before the Adhan al-Maghrib. Mm. So if let's say two or three minutes left to Adhan al-Maghrib, you make the niyyah that I want to fast this day, خلاص, it will be accepted okay. and validated. So for the mustahab, yes, you have all day, just a few minutes and moments before the Adhan al-Maghrib, you can do the niyyah and inshallah will be accepted as a mustahab siyam. Inshallah. Thank you very much, Sheikhna. Uh, thank you to all our guests for joining us today on Ahkam SOS. Inshallah, you have the correct niya, and inshallah, you guys are fasting and enjoying the month of Ramadan and reaping the benefits of spirituality and taqwa, inshallah. Until next time, from me and the Sheikh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh.